this is Adam from ProPed. So I just want to show off uh, something that I, a lot of people aren't necessarily aware of and that is the Autodesk Web Viewer. So while I'm involved here I would just like to show off this shared view functionality. So if I click shared view I can actually share uh, what is basically just a view of this uh, inventor part in the web. So if I hit share here, just take a moment. So what I get here is uh, I've shared this part in the Autodesk web viewer and if I just hit view in browser I can also copy the link and email it to someone. So if I click view in browser I'm brought here to the viewer.autodesk.com and if you have an Autodesk account you can access this anytime for free. So what you get here is just a view of this. Um, mostly your functionality is your fit, orbit, pan, zoom first person for Revit models and stuff, <coughs> uh, explode and markup. So markup is a neat little feature where you can say, put in a note here and say, put a comment on it, uh, move over, nothing too detailed, but and click save. So just to show this off, then you have this comments next to it and you can see next to this, I have a little image with a comment that I left on it. So if you shared this with someone else who has an Autodesk account and you can create one for free online, um, they will just be able to make comments on your design and this is useful for sending to customers, especially those who don't have say Inventor or Revit or AutoCAD or whatever it is you're using. So just to show off there, I'll just go back here. So this is just a bunch of sample files I have thrown in onto my web viewer. And here we have the DWG, which is just an AutoCAD drawing. Over here you have model space. Uh, with some of the views that are set up um, so you can zoom in on any of these uh, down here you have the sheet view with your title block and whatnot um, again it's just the same functionality markups and zooms and stuff you can also see all the layers and your properties There's nothing there so lastly just a quick Revit file so this is just a sample Revit model. I'm just going to zoom in on that here and show off that we also have this first function, first person functionality, and you can actually just move around and physically walk with the keyboard. So that's it.